going on guys taking a look at xrp this evening it's the first of june it is 8 30 on the east coast eastern standard time 8 30 p.m just got the opening candle for the second of june which is at 8 p.m on the east coast eight o'clock so a couple things here as we look at the xrp xrp price we'll take a look at bitcoin real quick keep this a pretty short video Close up that watch list. Guys, welcome to the channel. Let me know if you are a new subscriber down in the comments. What's your thoughts on XRP? So guys, we are sitting here. I put a dotted resistance line connecting a couple of highs here. So March, April, and then recently here, the end of May. So got a resistance line here, similar to this as well. And we so based on this, our price target was like 52 to 53 cents. You can see we hit that perfectly and are backing down. We have an area right here, guys, at 50842.50842. The price is basically pinned right at that area right now, waiting for either a push up or a push down to 48700. But I want to show you something here, or at least discuss something. So based on this larger consolidation, so this sh the smaller consolidation, call it an inverse head and shoulders, got us up to 52.53. Based on this larger consolidation, guys, 63 cents is our price target if we can break out to the upside. One that takes us above 55, major resistance, takes us above... This candle on the 29th, which found resistance at 55, takes us above this level back in September of 2022. 63 cents, guys, way up here. My exact price is 63,120, 63,740 based on this. That's my targets up there. 63. 740 63 120 so to give you a perspective on what that would be if, give or take from what we'll call it the 50 cent mark because that's pretty much where we're trading at now 63 120 is roughly going to be a 24 percent move 63 740 is going to be roughly a 25 percent move higher now, there's no guarantee that we're going to break out of here, of course. We could rally up to 55 and get crushed and put pushed back down. That's not necessarily what I think will happen, but it doesn't really matter what I think. We just got to follow what the market's doing, and we're going to take a look at Bitcoin real quick before we wrap this evening video up. One of the reasons, one of the one of the reasons I should say, that I don't think that push lower at least when it at least far down maybe we trade a couple cents lower and then we break out i don't think we're going to get crushed is this will be the so one two three guys this will be the fourth time if this price starts to move up back to 55 this will be the fourth time that it's testing that area and i expect a very large break to the upside Potentially higher than 63, but 63 is what my measured move will be. So 24, 23 to 25% call it from where we are currently trading. But we need to start off one by getting a nice solid close above 50842. We got a nice solid close here on the 30th. So far, the 31st, the first are actually the 31st. First was a close above that um, today, not so much. And then we're getting pushed back down. Currently, you can see the resistance at our level at 50842. Here it is right here on the charts. So let's take a look at the daily once again. So keep in mind, 63 cents is my price target for this most recent consolidation this larger one breaking out above this dotted line, 63 cents. If you want a higher price target, you can throw the fibs 
take the swing high. That is not the fibs. Let's see. It's just the fibs here. Take the swing high to the swing low. And the 1618 is at 73. And then the price just moves higher from there up to a dollar plus. But I think it's very reasonable to say that assuming this price can get back above 50842, break the highs at 55, easily hit 63 cents. A little bit of trouble though over on the Bitcoin chart. Let's talk about that. We have major resistance once again at 28249. Been talking about that level for a while now. Classic candle right here pushed back down. Heading towards the lows again to test that 26023, 25760, 25726. We might not get that low, but so far we're getting pushed in that direction. Now this could easily be a, so we had our higher high, this could easily be a higher low, and then we rally into a higher high once again. That's one scenario. Scenario number two could be get the failed breakout here at the higher high, and then we put in a lower low. That's scenario number two. Sometimes that can be a washout move, undercutting major lows, and then you actually rally from there. So we'll see what happens here. We're kind of in that spoke about before that neutral zone where whipsawing we're seeing in the stock market that's for sure market gets crushed one day rallies strong the next day the only thing doing really well right now that at least i'm keeping track of and looking at and trading is the nasdaq micro futures e-mini s p futures actually look ready to make a big big explosive move to the upside maybe we'll get it tomorrow we'll have to see so 2623 on the downside for Bitcoin potential support. Resistance 28249, which is above the market. Take a quick look at XRP once again. So here's the chart looking for that break above. So it's roughly depending on you know which day it happens, right around that 52 cent, pretty much where resistance came in based on this inverse head and shoulders. New target, 63 cents. But we got some work to do at the 50842. Guys, thanks for hanging around. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us here on the channel. Hit that thumbs up. Appreciate it. Have a good one.